What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Precise of Corey Red and Precise of Concrete Sheep. Uh, it's been a minute. You know, like I told y'all, I, 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 well, I, most of the time I keep y'all updated on the music stuff, but every now and I just jump on here, uh, give you something that God has laid on my heart. And um, today is one of those days. I'm not one of the people that jump on all the time because I just don't like to talk for talking sake. But uh, there was something pressed on my heart the other day. Uh, from the Lord and I wanted to to share that with you guys uh, I was uh, and how it how it started was I was uh, in prayer and while I was in prayer I heard this the Lord spoke to my heart and told me that he needed me and which is which is interesting because we don't really think of the Lord being in need of anything at all, uh, to be honest with you. Um, and I had to think about that, and I was, um, I was, uh, I was just thinking about in the New Testament, in the New Testament specific, specifically, in the Word of God. And I was thinking, like, how many times have I actually seen the Lord say He need anything in the New Testament? And you'll be hard pressed to find an instance where the Lord God, who's all powerful, He's omnipotent, all-knowing. He's omniscient. Uh, uh, he's everywhere. He's omnipresent. Uh, what could he need? You know, what could he be in need of? And um, I was led to the book of Matthew in the 21st chapter where it says, I'm reading out of the Living Bible for those who are looking. And it says, As Jesus and the disciples approached Jerusalem and they were near the town of Bethpage, on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two, Jesus sent two of uh, his disciples into the village ahead. And he says to them, just as you enter, he said, you will see a donkey tied there with its colt beside it. Untie them and bring them here. If anyone asks you, what are you doing? Just say, the master needs them or hath needed of them depending on what translation you read in the master needs them and there will be no trouble uh what stuck out to me that was like well okay this is where the lord is actually saying he needs something and um one of the things that stuck out to me first to encourage any one of you guys and what god has have you to do if God, when he when he tells these two disciples as they go there, he said, "If anyone asks what you're doing, tell them the master has need of them, and there'll be no trouble." I want to encourage somebody within the sound of my voice. If there's something that God has you specifically to do, and he said he's told you to do something, have no fear. Be encouraged. Be brave. Be bold. Because if he sent you to do something, then there's no one that's going to be able. There's no there's no human being. There's no power, no ruler, no principality can stop you to do something if God has called you to do it. That's number one. That, that was number one that came to my mind. Uh, number two, when the donkey and its colt were untied, they were untied because the master needed them. He said, tell them the master hath need of them. When Christ comes into our life, yes, yes, he comes in our life and he sets us free because he loves us. Yes, but don't be mistaken. He sets you free also. He loves you. And yes, he has a plan for you, but yet he has need of of you there's a purpose for him setting you free there's a there was a purpose for them unbinding the donkey and it's called there was a purpose for them I untie him the master had need of them and when he untied them what, what what was the purpose those that donkey and it's cult were used to carry Jesus hey the donkey and they were used to carry Jesus. Now, we know the Bible says in the beginning was the word. The word was with God, the word and the word was God. They were used to carry Jesus, a.k.a. the word of God to where he had to go. 
Jesus un so Jesus unties us for a reason to carry his word where it's to the intended destination. My question to my brothers and my sisters, since you've been untied, since you've been unbound, have you carried the word of God to where he's telling you to go with it? You were untied for a reason. You were untied for a purpose. The Lord hath need of you. Now look, it's funny that he would use a donkey when a donkey is the most it, its reputation is for being the most stubborn of animals But yet it submitted And it carried He didn't put a bit in its mouth to stare it It submitted and carried the word To where it needed to go As stubborn as, stubborn as a mule can be It still submitted and what about us? We've been untied. We've been unbound. God has need of us. The master has need of us. Are we willing to carry his word? The, the word, Jesus, carry the word to where he's sending us to go with him. And again, he said, if anyone gives you any trouble, tell them the master have need of them. And there'll be no trouble at all. What God has called you to do, no one can stop you for. If he called you to do something, be brave, be courageous, go ahead and do it. No one can stop you. No one can, no one can undo what he's called you to do. You just have to be a willing vessel. Remember, you were unbound. The donkey and his cup were unbound because the master have need of them. The master has need of you. They carry Jesus, the word, the word of God, where he needed to go. Are you willing to, now that you've been unbound, are you willing to carry the word where he's sending you? The almighty God, the all-powerful God, the almighty God, who should not have lack of anything, needs you he said he had need the master have need of you even in the greek that word in the greek is um church um crypt on um, crea creaia creaia if i'm, pron I'm pronouncing it right and in the in, inside of that word is a a lack a necessity just think about what god has done in your life what he's pulled you through what he saved you from everything that he's done for you since you've known him we do for our loved ones, like like for for our family, because we love them. Like like, uh, I mean, we know what they would do for us. And I don't know about y'all, but because God has been so good to me, if He needs anything, then I'm willing to to put myself out there and obey and submit. I'm not gonna let a, a stubborn mule have more submission to me. God loves you. He's for you. Jesus has need of you. Obey the call. No one can stop you if he sent you. He has need of you. Will you are you willing to carry the word to where he's sending you? God bless you. God keep you. God cause his face to shine on you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Bless y'all. Peace.